Hi everybody, I'm Amanda, Doctor of Physical Therapy with FitnessBlender.com, and today I have for you a lower body Pilates routine with a resistance band. So we've got 15 exercises, no repeats. We're going to work for 45 seconds and then rest for 15 seconds. For equipment, you're going to need an exercise mat and a resistance band, and definitely grab some water as well. I've included a warm-up and a cool-down, and there are a few modifications that I've included throughout. So with that said, go ahead and get your equipment and get your water, and let's get after it. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's lie down on the mat. I'm going to get our timer going. Okay, so we're going in about eight seconds. You're going to have your band off to your side. We're going to start with a quick warm-up. So let's lie down on our back, knees bent, feet flat. So we're just going to breathe in through the nose, and then we're going to breathe out through the mouth like we're blowing out a birthday candle. And as we're doing that, we're going to engage our belly and bring the ribs closer to the hips. Let's breathe in again. And then breathe it out. Engage the belly, creating that rib to hip connection. Keep going in through the nose. And then blow it out. Rib to hip connection. Next, let's bring one leg up at a time at the tabletop. And let's continue to work on that breathing and bracing our abdominals and that rib to hip connection. So inhale. And then blow it out. Engage the belly deeper. Think about continuing to connect that rib, the rib to hips. Ribs to hip. There we go. And breathe it out. Keep going. Excellent. Lower one leg down at a time. Let's quickly flip over into our bear position. So tuck your toes underneath you and lift those hips. And we're going to breathe here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. So we're just going through each position or each exercise here in the warm-up to warm up our belly and warming up our legs a little bit too for our Pilates workout we're going to get into here in a few seconds or in a few minutes. Okay, so let's come down. Now we're going to take our right leg, stretch out long behind you, point your toes, squeeze your glutes, lift the leg up, and then lower down. Squeeze the glutes to lift the leg up, lower down. Keep going. Try to make this motion come from your hip and not your spine. Meaning, when you lift, I really want you to think about your glute being the primary mover and keeping your belly engaged so your spine stays still. All right, I'm going to flip around. We're going to do the exact same thing on the left-hand side. So, leg comes up with a tight belly, tight glutes, and down. Lift it up and down. Squeeze the glute. That's the mover here. Engage the belly. Have a long spine. Try to make sure that your spine isn't doing any movement here. Just the glutes, because we're going to be using those a lot during this routine. Keep going. Excellent. Let's flip ourselves around. Let's do our teaser prep. All right. Right leg up, and we're going to use our hands, crawling up our leg, up tall to the top, pull leg in for a little bit of a hamstring stretch, and then walk yourself back down. And again, using your hands, walk yourself back up, engage your belly, rib to hip connection, a little bit of a hamstring stretch, come on back down. And again, walk it up, engage the belly, rib to hip connection, up tall. Excellent. Let's switch sides. Walk up the left leg. Tall at the top, a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Walk it back down. And again, walk up the left leg, belly engaged, tall, proud chest. Walk it back down. And again, walk it up, engage the belly, tall at the top. Come on back down. Keep going. Let's get one more in. Tall at the top, and then come on back down. All right, so now let's go ahead. Actually, let's come up and uh, put it into our C curve. That's where we need to be. Engage your belly. Press your hands into your knees and your knees into your hands. And think about just creating a very hollow belly and abdomen. Bring the ribs close to your hips, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Every time you breathe out, push your hands a little bit harder into your knees and engage the belly a little bit more. Let's take one big giant breath here, and then blow it out. Engage the belly a little bit deeper. Knee into hand, hand into knee, and relax it. Okay, that was our quick warm up. Let's get into the workout. I'm gonna switch our timer over, and go ahead and put your band around your knees. If you have a band, great, use it. If you don't, all good. You can definitely do this routine without the use of a band. Okay, so we've got a little bit less than 10 seconds. Our first exercise is a squat. 
band around the knees. Let's go ahead and get into our squat position. And here we go. Squat it down. Come on back up. Down and back up. I'll face this way for you. All right, so our belly's engaged. All right, rib to hip connection on the way up and on the way down. Hips go down and back behind you. Keep the knees pressing out into the band. And think about really squeezing the glutes on the way up. Also on the way up, think about pushing the floor down and away from you. That helps to get the glutes to kick in a little bit more. Good, engage the belly. Keep that rib cage connected. Good stuff. Next on the agenda, we're coming down to our squat and we're gonna pulse it next. So catch your breath. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Come down to your squat and pulse it, all right? So keep the knees pressing out into your band. Keep your belly engaged, rib to hip connection. Keep the weight through the heels of your feet. You should be able to wiggle your toes a little bit. And then every time you come up, think about pressing the floor down and away from you. Keep going. <clears throat> Almost there. We've got about 10 seconds left. Hang in there. Press the knees out a little bit more. Excellent. Next up, I'm going to use my fingertips on my countertop here for a little bit of balance. If you want to use a wall, chair, table, <coughs> excuse me, what have you, go ahead and use it. All right, first up is our right hip extension. So we're standing on the left leg. Our belly's engaged, and we have the rib to hip connection as we squeeze our right glute and lift it up off the, or lift our toe up off the ground. So just like when we were in our hands and knees during the warm up, we're using the glute as the primary mover here. <clears throat> Keep going, engage the belly, less than 10 seconds. Keep the weight through the left heel as you squeeze that glute. Good. Shake it out. Woo. <coughs> I have a frog in my throat right now. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to stay facing this way to lift my left leg, okay? <clears throat> All right. So weight through the right heel. Our belly's engaged. <clears throat> and we are squeezing our left glute to lift our foot up off the ground. So remember, the glute's the primary mover here. Our belly's engaged. Work on keeping that left knee nice and straight. So go ahead and tighten up your quad muscle as well. Make sure that you're not hunched forward, tall upper body, belly engaged, still working on that rib to hip connection to squeeze the glute for the lift. Good job. <clears throat> Shake that out a little. Next up, we're going to stay in that exact same position and um, do a hamstring curl. <clears throat> so mentally prepare. Here we go. Get the glutes and the hammies working. All right. Weight through the left foot, right leg out behind you. Go ahead and lift it. Bend, straighten. Bend and straighten. This is our move. <clears throat> Keep going. <clears throat> Keep going. Belly engaged. Rib to hip. Keep that glute engaged because that's going to help keep your thigh lifted. Keep going. Go make those hamstrings do some good work here. All while your glutes are working really hard too. Good job. Glutes are working on both sides, mind you. Your left glute has to stabilize you while your right glute has to help keep your leg lifted while you bend the knee, working the hamstring. So a lot's going on in that move. Same thing, right leg stays, right legs are stance like this time. Straighten out that left leg, squeeze the glute to lift it up, bend the knee, straighten it. Bend the knee, straighten it. Keep on going. Go ahead and check in with your belly. All right, rib to hip connection. Make sure you have a 
proud of our body. No hunching forward. Squeeze that left glute again to get that leg a little bit higher and keep bending and straightening, bending and straightening. Your hamstring may cramp during this exercise. All good, take a little break, stretch it out, wait for the cramp to go away, and then go back into the exercise. The stronger you get and the more your body gets used to doing those hamstring curls, the less crampy it'll be. Okay, we're gonna take a quick water break. Meet me right back here in just a second. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that quick water break. Let's go ahead and lay down on your back, band around the knees. I'm gonna get our timer going. Our next exercise is the bridges. So, lying on our back, knees bent, feet flat. <clears throat> All right, so we're pressing our thighs out into the band as we squeeze our glutes and tighten our belly to push our hips up. So, like I usually say, think about Pressing your knees forward, that'll help get the glutes engaged. Keep your belly engaged the whole time while everything is going up and down. And remember that you want your rib cage to be the last thing that comes off the ground as you're lifting the hips. And then you also want the rib cage to be the first thing back on the mat as you're lowering back down. That prevents you from lifting from your low back. Good stuff. All right, next, we're going to come up into a tabletop position. We're going to have our toes together, our knees apart, and we're going to do a clamshell motion in tabletop. <clears throat> All right, engage the belly, bring the legs up to tabletop, toes together, press the knees apart, control them back together. Press them apart and bring them together. Press them apart, and I guess I should say control them together. Good. Keep going. Nice and controlled. Make sure that your shins are parallel with the floor. If you want an additional challenge, go ahead and curl head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. Every time you breathe out, engage the belly a little deeper. Excellent. Lower one leg down at a time. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Next, we're going to keep the band exactly where it is. Both legs are going to come up, and we're going to scissor them apart and then together, apart and together. All right, so engage the belly, bring both legs straight up, press them apart, control them together. Go ahead and keep a little bit of tension into the band the whole time, meaning that you don't necessarily want to bring your legs all the way together because then you'll lose some of that tension. <clears throat> And mind you, lose the band whenever you need to. Um, or if you don't have a band at all, don't even worry about it. If your hamstrings are too tight to be in this position, bend them. You can still do the same exact exercise, okay? So bending the knees to accommodate tight hamstrings is totally fine. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and lie on our left hand side. We've got a series for the right hip, a series for the left hip and then we'll move it into the cool down. So just a nice, quick Pilates routine for our lower body. <clears throat> okay, so what we're doing here, our belly's engaged. We have our thighs parallel with one another, and my toe is pointed down a little bit towards the floor, and I'm just lifting the leg up a little bit and down a little bit. You don't need to bring the legs all the way back together because then you'll lose tension in the band. So just keep going, a little bit of space poking through, engage the belly, keep going. I'm getting a little sloppy, so I'm going to stop talking here and focus. Woo, mama, that was a good burn right there. Okay, next up, bottom leg can stay where it is. Top leg, going to go straight in line with your body, maybe a little bit behind the body, and then we're going to do some pulses. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We're just doing some pulses. You can have your upper or your head resting on your left hand, or you can always have your head resting on your arm, whatever works. All right, here we go. Breathe and believe. Oh my goodness, these glutes of mine are killing me today. Woo! So just little baby pulses, guys, little baby pulses. 
Lose the band if you need to, rest if you need to. I need to take a rest because they were starting to feel, feel probably really sloppy and look sloppy too. So again, we're just pulsing. Little pulses, little pulses. Engage the belly. Woo! Okay, we've got 15 seconds of rest. <clears throat> and then we're going to do a fire hydrant. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to relax my head down for this one. So this is going to be a small movement because, again, we're not bringing our legs all the way together because then we lose the tension in the band. So keep a little bit of tension in the band. That might mean that our range of motion is smaller. That's okay. But I'm going to adjust my body a little bit just because I feel like my front of my hip was kicking in a little too much or the back of my hip kicking in. So keep that modification in mind. If you start to feel the front of your hip, Straighten out your hips a little bit, or bring your knees further away from your chest. All right, I'm losing focus, so I'm going to engage my belly and keep an eye on what my knees are doing. Oh my goodness gracious, I didn't realize those exercises were going to be so challenging with this band. <laughs> All right, let's flip on over. Right side, left hip has to work now, and then we're going to roll into our cool down right after this. So here we go, everybody. All right, top leg is straight, up and down, up and down. So let's go to our happy place. My right hip is still burning from all the work it just did, but that's all good. Keep going up and down. Think about keeping this hip down and away from you. Take breaks when you need to. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling like a weakling right now. Oh, I gotta take a break. Okay, going back into it. There's just a few more seconds left. We can do this. We can do hard things, right, guys? Yes, we can. Oh, my goodness gracious. <clears throat> yeah. And I have a light resistance band, too. I can only imagine what the medium and heavy would be like. I probably wouldn't even be able to move my leg at all. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, top leg straight, in line with your body, maybe behind your body, and just a little pulses. I'm going to bring my head down. I'm going to breathe and believe and try not to stare at the clock. I'm going to take breaks when I need to. Rib to hip connection. I'm going to take a break. And I'm going to go back into it. Here we go. Take rib to hip connection again. And just breathe, believe, pulse, pulse, pulse. Buns of steel, strong hips. Happy, healthy hips. Ooh, we made it. Okay, 15 seconds of rest, and we have our fire hydrant. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of bring my knees a little bit further away from me so that the front of my hip doesn't kick in. <clears throat> Here we go. Last exercise. Up and down. So take your time with this. This isn't a race. This is all about strength. Focus on the back of the hip, doing the work. Take breaks when you need to, lose the band when you need to. Focus on those muscles, close your eyes, make them earn their keep. Think about how strong you're going to be, how strong you're going to feel. Engage the belly, almost there, I think yes, less than 10 seconds. Glutes, 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 we can do this. Woo! Oh my goodness, I had no idea that was going to be as challenging as it was with this band. My goodness gracious. Okay, we can lose the band now. Yes, we can. That's going over to the side. I'm going to switch our timer over. We're going to do some stretching now, some much deserved stretching. So hang with me one second. And go ahead and grab a sip of water if you need it. You've got 10 seconds to meet me back on the mat lying on our back. <clears throat> All right, right leg up, left leg can either be bent or straight, up to you. But just go ahead and just take some deep breaths, because this wasn't a big cardio workout per se, but it was a really good muscle burn for my hips. Man, oh man. <sighs> Thank you.
Excellent. Let's go ahead and straighten out the left leg a little bit more and let the right leg fall across our body. Think about pushing your right hip down away from you. Engage your belly a little bit. You can have your right leg bent a little bit if you need to or straighten it out. <clears throat> And feel a good stretch all along the outside of that right thigh. Keep your right shoulder on the floor as well as your right hip and low back on the floor. Okay. Let's go ahead and take our right ankle on the left knee. Stretch out the piriformis. Oh my goodness. My hips are so tight. <laughs> my hips are tight after that. And it was only, you know, I think 15 exercises we did. One, two, three, six. Yeah, 15 exercises. My dry erase board is right underneath my camera, so that if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my dry erase board. All right, left leg up, right leg straight or bent, or stretching out these right hamstrings. Here we go. Go ahead and take a big deep breath in with me, in through the nose, and blow it on out. All right, straighten out that right leg. Let the left leg fall across you. Take your left hip, push it down and away from you. Keep your left shoulder on the floor, your right low back on the floor. And feel a good stretch. Anywhere from knee up to your hip is fair game with this. Me, I'm tighter up here by my knees, so that's where I typically feel this stretch, but I really like it, and I feel like it helps make my knees feel, feel happier. All right, right or left ankle, right knee, pull right knee into your chest. And we're breathing. And we're thanking our body for what it just did. And we're thanking ourselves for making ourselves a priority, which is not always easy, not always easy to do. All righty, let's come on up. Let's have our legs over to our right hand side, left arm up and over to stretch out our left side body. And just enjoy. Big breath in. And blow it out. Feel free to kind of rotate your trunk a little bit. All right, let's switch sides. Feet over to the left, right arm up and over. And yeah, rotate that chest a little bit down towards your legs. Rotate it up towards the ceiling. Try to keep this right arm closer to your ear to open everything up. Take a few more deep breaths. All right, let's go ahead. Crisscross our legs here in the front. Let's reach arms up overhead and down to our sides, finger tent, finger, tent the fingertips. Wow, okay, easy for me to say. Tent your fingertips, sink your chest up, feel a good stretch through the front of your chest. Take a big deep breath in here, blow it out. Now let's take our hands in front of us and I want you to think about pushing your back towards the wall behind you as your fingertips reach in front of you. So we've got a nice rounded spine. We're stretching, kind of go side to side. And let's take another big deep breath in. And as we blow it out, slowly roll your spine up one at a time. Head is the last thing that comes up. All right, everybody. There was our lower body Pilates with a resistance band routine. So I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoy creating it and sharing it with you. As always, let me know what you want to see next. And I thank you so much for working out with me today. And I hope that you also thank yourself for taking the time to, to, to put yourself first, to be here and to work out. I super appreciate you for that. So with that said, I'm Amanda. Thank you so much for working out with me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job. Workout complete.